Hello students, I am Arva and today's topic is banking of a road. But first, to take you at this point, I will tell you, we will first know what is the need of the banking. So for uh, reaching up to that point, we will discuss some point over here that is taking a we will take our car on a horizontal curved road this is horizontal curved road for banking you just need to push like this you just need a theta angle banked okay so why we need that first we have to understand the concept of horizontal banking what is the drawback of it and then we will go to this point this topic okay so the, uh, students this is my car Let's say it has wheels. Of course, car has wheels. What a stupid thing. Uh, this is my radius. Since it is a circular path, so it must have a radius r. What happens at this point? Let's car is moving with a velocity v, and it, we have to discuss at the this at when it is taking a turn. We have to discuss every condition when it is taking a turn. Okay. Now you must know. Uh, of course, what if you are thinking a car is moving like this, then friction must be on opposites, and that is a different story. Right now, we just want a condi, we just want a condition that we will take a safe turn. What happens at the turning when it takes a turn, and our car will not skid outward? So we want a safe environment of a car. So we need to discuss that parameters. Okay, and when you are moving in, when you are moving like this. Okay, you are experiencing. Suppose you are you are inside a car, so you must experience a force that is called centrifugal force, which is outward. Now you are thinking when to use centripetal force and when to use centrifugal force. So let's discuss this also. Number one, if centrifugal for centrifugal force, if a person, if you are in the car. or in a rotating or non inertial frame inertial frame since you are inside a car you are in a rotating frame you are in non inertial frame or accelerating frame non inertial accelerating frame then you experience a Uh, along this curve road circular path circular path okay then along circular path you feel outward force that force is called centrifugal force okay now second if a person is looking you from outside a observer is there that is looking you outside that observer is thinking that you are taking a curve then if observer is watching you from outside from outside your frame of reference what does it mean imply if observer is just outside the car and watching you to take a turn then what he is thinking that some centripetal force is holding you along this centripetal uh, along this circular path then it experiences centripetal force centri petal force which is of course equals to mv square by r because centrifugal and centripetal is just opposite to each other both value is same expression is same that is mv square by r now what happens when you we are in the car okay we are experiencing all the things so when you are inside the car you are just uh, when you take a turn you just uh, Uh, do your steering like this in this direction so you are going outward you are going just outward so at that time at that time these wheels will also try to go outward this wheel will try to go outward with you but since it is a motion between um, road 
and the wheel so what will happen friction will friction will act and will not allow you to skid and friction will invert friction will be invert so friction will hold you friction will prevent you to skid your car to skid okay so first we will discuss this expression and then we will deal with the case and then we will come to banking of a road okay so what do you want you want your car will not skid now outward you want a maximum friction force so that your car will go along this path and will not skid outward so what do you want you want basically this expression friction should be maximum to maximum so that friction should be greater than or equals to mv square by r r is the radius okay friction should be maximum to maximum so that your car will not skid outward so this will be the only condition which we want our car prevent our car not to prevent our car from uh, skidding okay now what is max friction max friction means f limiting or greater than or equals to mv square by r Okay, fine. Till now, let's say first discuss our our car is on a road like this. Okay, since n our reaction force from the ground, which is n, and downward force that is mg. Okay. Ah, uh, so n is holding uh, n is equals to mg so they both are playing a good job so we ha don't have to touch these parameters and here mv square by r is acting and here friction was acting friction maximum it means this is a case of limiting friction okay so f limiting we know that f limiting is equals to mu times of n but n is equals to mg okay so let's go back to our expression which says f limiting is greater than or is equals to mv square by r or mu mg is greater than let's say car and wheels have a friction mu kind of uh, coefficient of friction mu that is mv square by r or m to m cancel or mu g r is greater than or is equals to v square or v square is less than or equals to mu g r or v is less than or equals to under root of mu times g r okay fine till now everything is fine so this is our expression now we'll discuss a different different case over this now students this is our limiting friction and limiting friction acts when there is a maximum value of the friction after that kinetic friction will act okay kinetic which uh, kinetic friction will come into picture so when you are talking about maximum friction it means this velocity is maximum so maximum to maximum you can take this velocity max to max for limiting friction max to max for limiting friction to act you can have a velocity expression is equals to under root of mu g r your velocity if your velocity is less than it's acceptable you will be on a safe road you will be on a safe turn very nice but i want you to take your attention towards certain parameters okay number 1 if your velocity let's say uh, i'll i'll just draw a picture of it so that you will get a better understanding uh, let's say this is a radius r okay and your car was on this road about this point this was your car okay fine now what you have done you just reduce the radius okay if you want now look if you are coming on this circular path with a very slow speed let's say this speed is 60 km per hour let's say 60 km per hour this is a speed and this this is the radius this is the radius this is the radius okay this is the radius r and let's say this is r dash so r plus r dash will be the radius so at this this is your v speed what will happen if you just reduce the speed when you are taking just 30 40 speed on this circular path what will happen 
if you are coming with a very low speed then of course you will not take a very sharp turn you will take a very very uh, very you will take a turn which is just less than this curvature it means the radius will be less it, let's say you are coming with a very where's my pen uh, let's say you are coming with a very slow speed so of course you will take a very low turn of a very low radius so this is let's say this speed is 40 speed let's say so of course your radius will also less you will not take a like a sharp turn like this or take a long radius and let's say this road has a very nice width so r this is now your r which is less than this r this r is less than your main r okay uh, this is black and this is blue okay so you get a better understanding so r this is your r and this is your r so what will happen friends at this point students look here you have expression of centrifugal force mv square by r since now r is reducing if r decreases it means centrifugal force also decreases sorry uh, r decreases then centrifugal force increases okay centrifugal force try to take it outward but at that time friction is also there so friction now will adjust its value i am not saying you are just taking a very 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 low turn that is your speed is just 5 meter per hour no no i am not saying this i am just saying you are just reducing a speed quite a speed you are reducing 60 to 40 i am not saying you are just very in a in a very very minimum speed so that your car will could just go inside it because friction then will be opposite okay uh, that's a different case we will discuss on in the banking First of all, it's we are just taking a parameters when you just reduce the speed and when you take just a higher speed of it. And what will happen to the car? Okay, friction will also decrease. Oh, sorry, centrifugal force increase. Centrifugal force increases at that time. Friction will self adjust because friction can adjust your value. Friction will adjust your value according to the centrifugal force okay now what will happen if you just increase let's say now you are just increasing your speed let's say it is 70 kilometer per hour let's say this is 70 kilometer per hour so you are just increasing the speed when you take a high speed you will take a high radius a curve of very high radius so what will happen at this point if you take r very high that is radius of very high that this would be your radius now r that is in this case r is greater and this is the second case and this is the first case that is r is greater than this blue r what will happen at this point this is r and this is blue r okay so what will happen when r is very very greater than r uh, not very very greater just quite greater than this your main speed at this point since r increases so centrifugal force decreases centrifugal force decreases again friction will adjust the value according to this you will your car will not go outward don't think just i'll uh, you will take a very sure you will take only what you have to do you have to do a sharp turn you have to take a sharp turn you have to take a turn of very high radius what i mean from sharp turn sharp turn see you have to take a you have to drive your car with a very quite a high radius so with a high radius you will not skid outward in this situation you must be thinking so if we are taking uh, uh, we are we are just taking a velocity suppose this is v max let's say v max is your 60 kilometer per hour and v let's our v is 70 kilometer per hour okay so you must be thinking if v for v max we have maximum limiting friction that is f limiting 
so at this point what happens to f limiting of course if you are taking a uh, what you will thinking at this moment if v is high then f limiting will be f limiting will not be the case friction will of course friction can only provide this value after that it will not hold your car it will not what but you also but you also uh, think in this way if you are taking a very uh, very high radius then you are not just taking a this radius your radius is also very large you are not taking a low uh, a circular path a circular turn of very low radius then it will give you skidding but what you are doing if you are taking a velocity high then you are also doing this that you are taking a large radius large radius means centrifugal force decreases and friction will adjust now friction will balance now so somehow friction will balance because the friction is self adjusting force till now we have discussed the case about r and v and mu uh, oh sorry r and v what happened for mu let's say we mu is the coefficient of friction and let's say mu is very very large and the ground is enough rough rough means if our ground is enough rough it means no sliding or no skidding okay another effect you will face that is called toppling at this moment okay so when uh, somebody thinks in this way also uh, if you if you want a very large friction why don't we just uh, increase the value of the mu so that we will get a higher friction but every parameter has some limits so mu has also its limit so let's discuss mu's limit now okay so let's say this is our car okay this is our uh, just i have drawn like this and the center will be like this the car is moving in this way okay um look what will happen at this point car ground is rough enough this is the wheels of the car and let's say the distance between these two point is a the distance between two wheels is a distance between two wheels is equals to a okay fine now what happened ground is rough enough and the car will be like this at this is the time of toppling at the time of toppling because this is the center so friction will be like this this is the force of the friction let's draw it with another pen this is this is now upward because the car will topple so toppling just like this this is the toppling this is the toppling or uh, you so what will happen at when it topples then mv away from the center let's center is here not here center then away from the center is mv square by r okay fine and friction is towards the center as we have discussed earlier so now this is the friction and this is mv square by r so toppling means it will topple about this wheel let's say this is our o point it will topple about this o so there are two forces so what happens uh, let's draw it here so that you will have a better understanding of it and let me draw it quite large car right quite large enough this is my o point this is my v is this is my a point okay where is my mg mg is downward okay then and let's say the distance since we are talking about this point toppling about this point and this is my friction force f and this is a by 2 right and uh, let's say mv square by r this is the center so mv square by r along this and let's say the perpendicular distance from here to here is a h now 
every time what uh, in physics what we were used to do we just used to discuss the case that we just able not to sketch or not to topple so we just discuss a case about that moment that car will just just when you just apply a simple force 0.01 force even there so car will start to topple so before that what happened before that it will not topple topple but just you have to just give a 0.01 push over there so 0.01 newton force over there so it will topple now but what before that just before that we'll just for, for example you have discussed the limiting friction so limiting friction is the case when just it will provide after that the car will start running that is the last point of friction that it will hold the car okay so we will discuss here a point that car will no no slide or topple it will just save so what is that safe speed that we will able to hold our car on this road the car will not topple so what we are doing no topple just condition okay what is that look this is the moment about this point is o so mv square by r into uh, h okay mv square by r into h this force the, you you are getting a you are getting a sufficient feeling that this point o is the toppling point pivot point and car will topple like this okay so what will happen at this point so you what do you want your car will not topple in this direction so this mg force this this mv square will be like this it will try to topple your car about point o like this and what mg will do mg will try to counteract like this anti clock or sorry this is clockwise and this is anti clockwise so mg force what mg force will do mg force will try to count so we want that this force should be larger if mg force will be larger because there are two moments this force and this force which these two force only holds your car now so you what do you want you don't want toppling so this force should be less and this force should be large so that your car will again come to the ground okay now what happens you want this force to be less mg mg this is force mg and this is the distance l by 2 okay m m cancel out uh sorry a by 2 not l by 2 a by 2 okay okay fine then v square h upon r is less than g a by 2 or v square is less than g a by 2 r upon h okay fine or v is less than under root of g a r by h so this is the condition this is the condition v your velocity should be less than this a that is a is the distance between two wheels in terms of car's parameter a h that is the height okay height of your car from the ground so of course you have seen many times that uh, when your car is just that like a maruti 800 which is just above the ground which is which give you very sufficient feeling uh, very nice feeling that uh, you you are on you are just very at a very small distance from the ground your your height from the ground is very very less and suppose you are i don't know very car, car names and suppose this is the car which has a very high you are just sitting over here let's say and the height is very large from the ground so as height increases so okay this is the increase in the height and this is the v suppose this v is if you have a very large distance between the two wheels this this is the very large distance from the that car is like this then the toppling will be there's a very less chance of the toppling this is very important you know the car of these big size and the 
wheels the distance between the wheels is very large so a is very large at that point at this point what happened you know uh, if you put it on the road then of course you can imagine that this distance is very less from the ground this is very less distance from the ground so of course toppling will also be less this is very large a is very large over here so toppling mg center here this is a very large mg mg will get suppose this is uh, your mg this is your mg and let's say the distance between this is of course this to this is if this to this is a then this is a by 2 so what will happen here this this value of a is very large as compared to this value of a so you the toppling about o you can now imagine you get a feeling also that toppling there is a very less chance of toppling in this car as compared to this one because a is sufficiently toppling about this you will get a large radius over here so will you will get a large momentum along this mg mg will give you large torque enough large force enough to counterbalance this force mv square by r force okay